Hello everyone in this video let us talk about uh, things that you cannot do on Ajira next gen project so i was uh, playing with the jira next gen project and uh, i uh, also made a video i believe few days ago where i talked about uh, things that are probably uh, now improved in uh, next gen project i made a video around uh, uh, one and a half year ago when this uh, new feature of uh, next gen project was released i believe it was in october 2018 and uh, the video that i made a uh, few days ago was nothing but a revisit of uh, of my uh, first video so in this video i want to talk about uh, things that you still cannot do or rather i should say features that are still not available on jira next gen project and the purpose of making this video is to basically help you in understanding whether you should be using jira next gen project or you're probably better using your classic jira software scrum or kanban based projects so the whole purpose of making this video is to uh, help you and uh, make you aware of the features that are uh, uh, right now available and before i before i talk about uh, you know what you cannot do i also want to share this page <clears throat> i will give you the uh, the link in the description so this page is nothing but uh, a kind of a roadmap where atlassian has uh, talked about uh, things that they have uh, delivered in the next gen project and things that are in development and they are going to be released on uh, the next next gen project this year in 2020 so i highly recommend you take a look at uh, this uh, this page and i believe uh, this page will give you an idea about uh, whether next gen project is the right project for you at least in uh, january 2020 because you can uh, make an informed decision about uh, whether uh, you need to use it right now or may maybe you can probably wait for a few more months so let us talk about things that you cannot do so in the next gen project the whole idea was uh, uh, to give a normal user the ability to manage his or her own project and uh, as a user, I don't need to don't need to rely on my Jira admin or my support team to make changes to my project. I may want to add a new custom field or maybe I want to add a new column. I can do it myself. For example, if I look at my uh, my next gen project, I have added a new column called on hold, and I can add more columns if I uh, probably uh, scroll. Uh, on the right hand side, I have this option here to create a new column, which is good, but this new column is not really a workflow so there is no workflow option in a next gen project you have of course the different columns and these different columns are kind of like uh, different statuses so you can probably compare it with the simplified uh, workflow that i'm sure you are uh, uh, you're probably already using so this is uh, nothing but uh, a list of uh, statuses that you have in your uh, in your uh, project your next gen project but there is no workflow there is no there is no concept of uh, the state diagram where you have transitions and you can have conditions and validations and post functions and triggers so those things are not there uh, so this is something that you should be uh, aware of at the same time you uh, may want to of course um, for some reason no not for some reason but uh, uh, it is actually quite a valid reason that you may want to add a field but also make it mandatory for example uh, let us say if i go to my project settings and if i go to issue types let us say if i'm working on a task i may, may want to add a date so this is like uh, a field a new field that i want to um, capture let us call it as a deadline we already have i believe uh, uh, other fields like due date but uh, let us say we for some reason we want to add a field like deadline and uh, i can add a field and it will work but there is no option right now to make it required so this is something again uh, not there still not there in the next gen uh, <coughs> project so let us go back to the 
uh, to the back to not not to the backlog but the board or the project the next gen uh, project and uh, let us talk about uh, few other things that you still cannot do so when you are working on the next gen project you have different cards and uh, when you move your cards from uh, one column to another column uh, you can of course work on it and while you are working on your board you may want to have some swim lanes that i'm sure you all know about so right now there is no option to create a custom swim lane How, however there is an option to uh, do this uh, grouping based on the assignee or maybe based on the epic or maybe based on the subtask so this is something that you can do it is quite good but it is not really uh, similar to the uh, agile based pro projects where you can have swim lanes based on uh, your own custom uh, query uh, so this is something that you should be aware of and uh, also if you are working on a board maybe you want to have some visual identification of your issues maybe your uh, maybe you want to change the card colors so i'm sure you all know about the card colors in uh, jira software projects you can modify them by going to the board settings but you don't really have that option here uh, there is no option to basically go to the board settings but there is still one thing that is actually not bad and that is actually the color that you can change of your epics so at the epic level you can uh, click on those uh, bars and uh, when you go to the right hand side the view where you can view, where you can modify the issue details you can select this option on top and you can have a few different colors not really there's no option to select a custom color but i think these six colors are not are still okay i mean uh, it is better than having nothing so right now we have different epics and these different epics uh, they uh, may have uh, more issues under it let me add maybe um, maybe couple of uh, children under this epic now why i'm talking about uh, these uh, children because when you're working on your board based on the color of uh, your epic you should be able to and you will be able to actually uh, distinguish whether this particular uh, issue is part of a specific epic by looking at the color so there is some color option but it is at the uh, epic only there is no colors uh, at uh, the uh, uh, at the issue level i mean uh, it is only for the first or the you know issues that are used in the in the roadmap so let me go back to the roadmap again so right right now we have few epics like epic one epic two and epic three if i go to the board i let me just you know change the grouping to none and if you now look at the board you can see these epic uh, and these epics are displayed on the board as a label kind of a label but um, still uh, i mean it is still uh, not really the whole color the card color but you have some visual indications for example some of these epics they are quite clearly distinguishable with their red color blue color and so on so so i think these things are really uh, uh, different uh, when you when you talk about uh, uh, features that are still not available on the on, on the next on the next gen project if we do a comparison with the jira software based projects and also if you talk about the reports when you are working on your uh, on your uh, project you may want to do your standard reporting based on let us say you know you want to create a pie chart or maybe you want to create uh, uh, a bar chart and you know all those standard reports that i'm sure you are familiar with so those reports are not there in your project itself however for example if you look at your project your next gen project you have burn up sprint burn down velocity and uh, cumulative flow diagram but if you go to your uh, let us say your dashboard what you can do you can create a custom dashboard uh, and that custom dashboard can have projects from a next gen based uh, project so you can always uh, use your next gen project or maybe a filter based on the next gen pro uh, project issues and you can still create uh, your uh, your uh, dashboards based on that and uh, these dashboard gadgets are nothing but your standard dashboard gadgets that i'm sure you are familiar with so 
uh, there are of course the differences when it comes to next gen project and uh, uh, if you want to keep an eye on uh, the upcoming features and uh, the releases that Atlassian is uh, talking about and they have made it public you can take a look at this page for example uh, let us do a quick re quick uh, uh, review of those uh, features that are upcoming for example enable everyone on the team to personalize their view of the board so right now the board is actually for everyone but I, I believe it will be a personalized view and uh, there's something called as reimagining the workflow editor so I guess uh, 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 there will be this feature where the workflows will be coming. So let us do a quick reading here. So it says that with next 10 projects, we have rethought many of Jira software core features to optimize for team autonomy and ease of use. We are taking this philosophy and bringing it to a brand new workflow editor. In our classic template workflows are global objects, meaning you can make the then consistent across multiple projects. This works well for scaling a specific workflow across multiple teams, but also require any change to be managed by an administrator because they can impact multiple Jira projects. In next gen, projects are entirely indep indep independent from one another, meaning you can change something in one project and so on. So I think uh, uh, they are talking about uh, project specific workflows and uh, uh, the next gen project editor also comes with a major facelift that will make editing and clearly visualizing your workflows easier. So I guess workflows are coming to the uh, next gen projects. Uh, there are some other things like you know permissions and uh, copy next gen project configurations and workflows. They will be integrating it with uh, I believe uh, Bitbucket, I guess, which you can which you, which I believe you can still do, but I believe uh, you can. Uh, uh, expect a better integration when it comes to pipeline maybe uh, let me go back to the project settings and show you something uh, which is uh, uh, a bit interesting so if you're working on uh, an next project uh, I'm talking about the features here so there is a feature here called releases and versioning and uh, I wanted to actually uh, show you how we can uh, link it to the bit bucket I believe uh, so let me click on add item so when you click on add item you can actually uh, link it to a bit bit bucket or github repository so you can have uh, this uh, not really an integration but a link maybe uh, which is still good add a bit bucket or github repository to show information about branches commit commits and pull request in Jira issue so I think uh, when you uh, link it uh, you should be able to um, use your smart commits and I think I need to test this feature uh, a bit more in detail. Uh, it works with a normal project but uh, I need to test it with the next gen project. I'll, I'll probably do, do that and I'll uh, update you guys. So let us read the page again and it says uh, bringing the control chart to next gen. So it is maybe a report. Add time estimates. Easily clean up your board. So it says the clear done issues from the board in a couple of clicks. So maybe they will add something like a release button on top. Prioritize your work within each issue. So they are talking about uh, we have given you the ability to break work down within an issue by creating child issues. For example, breaking epics down into issues, down into task. Uh, and uh, you will soon be able to rank the rank this work so that everyone is clear. So they will bring the ranking feature, which is great. Uh, assign work to epics in bulk. So these are the features that they have promised that will be released in uh, 2020. I'm not sure, really sure when, but I guess soon. Uh, and I think it is good to know that uh, these features will come. And I think it is also good to know what things that you what things you still can't do. But I think if uh, I mean, I talked about things that you cannot do, but uh, I think uh, there are some major improvements and there are some major plans for next gen uh, project this year in uh, 2020. And uh, I will uh, keep you guys posted with more updates whenever I encounter these uh, releases on uh, Jira Cloud. And uh, this is all I want to share in this uh, video. I wanted to do a quick uh, uh, review of things 
that you still cannot do on next gen project. So I hope you found this video useful and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.